Travel agents in Uganda say all is not well in the sector. Tourists are not making bookings to the country. They blame protests following the February presidential elections won by incumbent President Yoweri Museveni but rejected by the opposition. It was bad because of you know the potential riots, the potential engagement with the opposition, uh, the, the army on the streets, and how the whole world was showcasing it, including Ugandans uh, on social media. Because when Ugandans are on social media, it does not only stop in Uganda, the whole world gets to know. Uganda's tourism had picked up in the last quarter of 2015 after an otherwise weak season partly because of fears over Ebola. Travel earnings were expected to grow this year. However, the first quarter of 2016 has been slow. I think there were a few cancellations, but the majority of the people just could, did not inquire because I think they were, the only way we tell that the tourists are not coming is we have a, a database and, and, the, and the sequence in which inquiries come into the company, companies. Now, it went silent from about November to about uh, February. It is starting to peak right now. Tourism is one of Uganda's top foreign exchange earners. Last year, government hired foreign firms to market the country as a top destination. But travel agents think government needs to do more. We also have been told Uganda is going to go into a serious branding campaign because as a destination we've not branded our destination, especially for tourism purposes. So once we brand, hopefully that now begins to really clearly identify us as a destination out there because, uh, you know, look at India, incredible India. Look at Malaysia, Malaysia truly Asia. Look at Kenya, magical Kenya. Tanzania has also branded as the land of Kilimanjaro and Serengeti. We have not yet branded. We have part of Africa that we've been running with, but it doesn't have, it doesn't have an identity. Uganda's major tourist attractions include the endangered mountain gorillas and the adventures of River Nile. The country boasts of rich biodiversity from its national parks, but tourism faces many challenges such as poor infrastructure and limited resources needed for conservation of nature. Tour operators and the government are holding talks on the best possible recovery program for the sector. It's hoped the tourist numbers will begin to peak again in mid-2016 when the peak season approaches and most importantly if peace prevails after the 2016 contested elections. Isabel Nakiria, CCTV, Kampala.